Hey there! Today, we're going to take a look at the instruments in the percussion family. Instruments in the percussion family include instruments that you can hit, shake, and scrape. But today, we're going to focus on instruments that you can hit. Specific instruments that we're going to look at include mallet instruments, the drum set, and the piano. Lewis has a few mallet instruments at home. Can you show us which ones you have? Here you can see that I have a marimba, a xylophone, and a glockenspiel. Can you tell us how all these instruments are similar and how they're different? They're laid out like a piano, except as you can see, they're all different sizes and made of different materials. Cool! I see that the xylophone and the marimba are both made out of wood. Can you tell us the differences between them? If you listen closely to the sound of the keys, you hear that the xylophone is higher pitched and has a bright penetrating sound. While the marimba has a darker, richer sound. This is because the xylophone is made of a harder wood, while the marimba has a softer wood, which results in different sounds. Wow, the type of wood makes such a big difference. I wonder what it would sound like if it was metal. Could you play the glockenspiel for us so we can hear how it sounds? Because the glockenspiel is smaller than both the marimba and the xylophone, and because the keys are made of metal, it is higher in pitch. Another name for it being concert bells or orchestral bells. On top of the materials of the keys, the materials of the mallets can change the sound. Can you show us what type of mallets you have and how it changes the sound? Soft. Medium. Hard. The mallets make such a huge difference. Do you think you could play us some examples on each one of the percussion instruments that you have? The drum set is probably the most well-known instrument in the entire percussion family. You can find it in every single type of music. But did you know that the drum set was invented in New Orleans in the 1920s? The drum set was a more compact way to play the instruments in the orchestra. Because of budget cuts in World War I, they had to find a way to compact all these instruments so that one drummer could play all the instruments at the same time. That's true. The drum set, or drum kit, is a modified collection of the percussion instruments that are found in the orchestra. Let's start with the bass drum. On my drum set, the bass drum is 16 inches across, while in the orchestra, it's 40 inches across. In the drum set, 
you use your foot to make a sound, and in the orchestra, you use your hand. Here you can see that the snare drum is low enough so I can play it while sitting, but in the orchestra the stand is higher, so you can play it while standing. Snare drums have metal snares on the bottom which give it its unique sound. The way you play the snare drum is different from the way you play the other percussion instruments. If you practice enough, you can do cool things like bouncing the stick, alternating your hands in different patterns so you could make specific noises, and even do a roll. On the hi-hat, you use your feet and sticks to play. And you can open and close the hi-hat to make different sounds. When you step on the hi-hat, it imitates a crash cymbal. And when you use the sticks, it imitates a suspended cymbal. Next, we're going to take a look at the piano and the keyboard. Sean is going to explain to us why the piano and the keyboard are percussion instruments and why the piano is not a string instrument. Hmm. still considered a percussion instrument. Now this is because of how the sound is made. So every time I hit one of these keys, there's a small hammer inside right here that triggers and strikes the appropriate string, giving me this beautiful sound. Now the piano was invented around the year 1700 in Italy and has since evolved and taken many different shapes and has become basically one of the most popular and most versatile of all instruments heard in so many different styles of music um, around the world. What's wonderful about the piano is that ever since that time, it's actually even evolved in a digital and electronic sense. So you can see things like this nowadays. So you might see an electronic keyboard or a synthesizer, or in this case, what is a MIDI keyboard trigger that allows me to use the same kind of format, right? So the same keyboard that you would normally see on a piano, I can see it in a different style of electronic instrument and trigger different sounds, pretty much whatever I want, as long as you're hooked up to some sort of computer or other digital interface, for example. I really hope this made you excited to learn how to play a percussion instrument. Remember, as long as you have anything that you can hit, shake or scrape, anything could be a percussion instrument. Things that you can hit at home could be pots and pans, 
things that you can shake would be salt shakers and things that you can scrape would even be a cheese grater, but make sure you get a parent's help for that. Bye.